Hello everyone, I'm posting this on a sunny day in Sydney. Uh, welcome to another episode of Rich Man. I'm Sia and this episode we're going to give you a little bit of news, kind of breaking news about mining city securities fraud warning that issued in Philippines. However, before we start, make sure that you like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel and also click on that bell icon on top so every time that I post a new video you will get notified. Also, if you would like to know to build a legit business online, make sure you hit the first link down in the description or the first link in the comment that I've pinned in the comment section. With a one-on-one coaching help that you get from me and the partners, you learn how to build a successful business online without any capital. My partners and I also provide a specific coaching that suits actually business owners. So if you already have your own business and you want to grow it super fast online with our particular techniques, we can help you with that. Uh, without further ado, let's just dive into this news. It's going to be a quick one. So Mining City has received a security fraud warning from the Philippine SEC. The Philippine SEC has identified Mining City as a security in the form of an investment contract. Uh, according to the regulator, Mining City is not registered with the commission and operates without the necessary license and or authority to solicit, accept or take investment placements from the public nor to issue investment contracts and other forms of security. As it is particularly everywhere else in the world, offering unregistered securities is illegal and it is illegal in the Philippines as well. So the Philippines September 10th warning applies to Mining City, Mining City CEO Greg Gregory Rogowski, Mining City Philippine team leader Anthony Aguilar, and Mining City Philippines Facebook page admin John Ray Gray. In light of Mining City and its promoters committing securities fraud, the Philippines SEC has also advised public not to invest or stop investing in any schemes offered by Mining City. Also, the Philippines SEC agrees, noting Mining City clearly shows indication of possible Ponzi scheme where money from new investors reused in paying fake profits to prior investors and is designed mainly to favor its top recruiters. Seeing as money, sorry, Mining City is operated by Gregory Rogowski and Eyal Abramovich, the Philippines SEC is focusing on local promoters. Continued promotion of Mining City within the Philippines can be penalized with a maximum P5 million fine, which is about 103K or a 21 year prison sentence. So the SEC also warns anyone caught will also be reported to Philippines tax authorities. That's, yeah, yucks. Anyway, uh, another interesting thing I just got an uh, email from my blog uh, from actually mining. Uh, these guys, I'm just gonna read you the email that I got. So uh, let me bring this up. So this is from the media at Mining City. So they commented on my uh, website. So they say we are contacting you regarding the article that I post. We are surprised and disappointed that Philippine Securities and Exchange Commission has recently placed Mining City on a warning list. We feel like we need to clarify the situation and comment on it. This appears to result from misinformation posted by individuals in the Philippines who falsely claim to be Mining City representative about our business and operation. Uh, we must stress that Mining City has no official representation in the Philippines. Furthermore, the social media accounts posting these claims are not official Mining City channels. Mining City does not offer investments or security. We sell computational power, hash power that our global communities use to safely and securely mine cryptocurrency. We would be happy to cooperate at any stage of the current situation and introduce you to our activities. Here's a short statement about the situation that we would like to share with you. We would like to underline that we are already in contact with the SEC regarding our situation. So this is their side of the thing. Uh, obviously, I'm going to just reply to them and probably say, okay, uh, I'm looking forward to see further information from the Philippine, Philippines SEC before uh, changing my news cause still this is on their website so as far as um it's my concerns their words against the Philippines SEC so I'm gonna take Philippine SEC's words for now and see uh, where they're gonna land so anyway I hope you enjoy this uh, breaking news and once again uh, 
make sure that you like the video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and also click that bell icon, and also share the video. So, uh, and if you want to know how to make a legit business online without any capital, with one on one specific coaching for you that me and my partner do, make sure you click the first link in the description or the first link in the comment section below. If you already own your own business and you want to bring it online or actually just grow super fast online, we've been, in, we've been doing this business for a long time, my partner and I, and we know the techniques and we can show you how you can actually uh, grow online super fast with the specific techniques that we have. Uh, so once again, thank you, think rich and see you at the top. Bye.